Hashtag Arthur Aspie, my Arthur, my Aspergers. G'day, a collateral of cats, feline sculptures and paintings by Robert John Burton. Cats were in my first art because they were more friendly than family or others I dealt with. However, I recognise they elicit a stronger emotional response from people. They love them or they hate them. My first solo exhibition had cats only. It even received a positive one-line review in the national newspaper. I was finding my way in the art world of the time. Cats I have known, my imagery changes but never my interest, they offered solace when no human would. From my drawings and paintings the sculptures evolved, techniques found and changed as needed. Pottery and ceramics are certain time tested methods to create sculptures. For pieces up to 60 centimetres in height, general kiln height, the slab method or coils blended is the best. Gas or electric kilns create different firing atmospheres. Gas changes the incoming air while electric does not. The gas produces a reducing atmosphere which turns carbon dioxide into part of the glaze. It traps carbon. Electric kiln colours can be very bright depending on the metals used. The blue cat is cobalt in the gas kiln while the green cat comes out of an electric kiln. So let me show you some favourites, pieces I have remade many times. The beauty of ceramics, a design can be copied, however each piece will have its own variations, important to me as a neurodivergent person. Siamese cats with wire whiskers, 60 by 38 centimetres, slips and various glazes over a slab construction, they are hollow. From the wild and angry to the sedate and comfortable, it's all a matter of mood. Cats are not as solitary as believed and, I, and can live together very well. I've had up to five cat companions, although I only have one now. Life imitates art. Here are some, some living for 22 years while others shorter lifespans. All adored, Gampor, Solando, Mr. Redding, Aubrey and Charlie. Feline, any of 37 cat species that among others include the lion, cheetah, tiger and domestic cat. Some stand up, some lay down, and some sit, wait. Colours are myriad and green is acceptable, as dyed hair is apparently. Art requires pushing past the office into something odder or a cat design that accentuates elegance and styles. For me, something more slapdash in your face, take it or leave it, hold my interest. My earliest cats and my latest with something in the middle to follow or a few more without a commentary. There is no end. I could show several hundred cats, time to stop. I invite you to visit my website, the link below, to see more. Thanks for viewing. Support a regional Australian artist by subscribing, commenting and liking. All comments will be responded to.